Hi everyone, it's Nisha. So today I thought I will try some new makeup. Do you remember when I uh, got the Pia Hampa? I had quite a few makeup items. So I thought we will try them together today. Uh, so one of the items was the Colourpop Brown Sugar Palette, which looks very nice. Um, the only thing is this, this little, um, eyeshadow it's not stuck in properly it fell out before and then I have the W7 on a rocks palette which is very interesting the colors are when I look at it I think it's not me at all but uh, we will try to do something with it so I'll probably do two different eyes so I can try it all together W7 is very very inexpensive drugstore brand um, they seem to copy a bit um, I suppose the high-end brands I've got from W7 Honolulu bronzer as well so we will try that uh, then I have from W7 Glow Commotion Shimmer Highlighter which looks quite nice um, then I have Colourpop highlighting palette, I think, Crush On You. So we will try that too. Yeah. And I've got Inika Bake Mineral Illuminator. So we're going to be illuminating today a lot. And I also have the Colourpop Slay All Day uh, Trio. It's a lip bundle. There is two um matte liquid lipsticks and one gloss we will try them all and the last thing is inika long lash mascara and this is vegan mascara i think inika is vegan all the way through so um yeah i've got it here it says it's vegan okay then so let's start with the brown sugar palette these are colors that i love using in the summer as you know all these warm browns um okay i'm going to start with the chai color we'll see okay so that is a very light almost like a skin skin tone color very nice for a blending out or transition um i think i might use then the jamoka to dip in it jamoka that's a funny name oh oh it's quite pigmented seems really nice goes on really nice then i might try dipping it with Sorel. Now I'll take like a my favorite black canvas cosmetics E45. Oh my gosh, they are really pigmented. <laughs> that is a really nice palette. I've never ever used anything from Colourpop because I think till not long ago we couldn't really get it uh, here in the UK, but I think you can get it now on Beauty Bay. Yeah, they seem to blend really lovely. And now I'm going to use Ginger, which is lovely shimmery champagne on my lid. Oh, that's beautiful. It's like a pale gold, actually. It looks quite champagne-y in a pan, but it is nice pale gold i want to try the one next to it which is called auburn which is shimmery as well i will put that maybe like halfway just to see it is like a shimmery bronzy color very nice very pigmented you know normally um to intensify those 
um, shimmery shadows you would use a finger but it performs pretty well just uh, with the brush and I think now for my outer seven I will use chalk which is a beautiful almost like a burgundy brown yeah it's very nice I am very pleasantly surprised I quite like the amber as well which is the really warm brown as well I'm sure that will look nice let's put that on just here to warm it up I'm liking it but you know I love these colors anyway I just don't wear them that much in a winter now on an angle brush I'm going to go to the ch not the chalk that's the dark uh, to Sorel they look like th those those pants are not sitting in there properly, like they're gonna fall out. That's the only thing. You get a bit of fallout from them, but not more than usual. And then I'm going to go back into Jamoka and just soften it out. I might put that gold, the ginger, maybe just in my corner, just in a inner corner. Yeah, that looks nice. Okay. So the other colours that I haven't tried is this one, which is called Sauté. And that looks like a duochrome. That is quite nice. It looks quite green and khaki in a pan, but it is sort of brown with a khaki shift. And then you've got the henna, which is sort of charcoal grey, but like a brown grey. That's a very interesting colour. And then let me do amber again because I only used it a bit. And that's amber. They are very buttery, very soft. They've blended pretty well. I like it. Okay, let's do the, the other eye with the On The Rocks Neutrals On Ice palette from W7. It reminds me very much of Anastasia Beverly Hills even got a little brush that is probably useless here yeah, that's going to be quite useless this is not too bad it's a flat brush synthetic flat brush that would be very good um, at applying shimmery shadows mm -hmm. I will go with the Moscato in a crease I don't know if this will show up because it is quite Okay, yeah, it's a bit like that one from Brown Sugar Palette, a bit more of a skin tone, like a tan colour. I'm going to go with that Caracao in my outer V. This is going to be interesting. It's a very very dark green but it's almost like a emerald green it is patchy but you know this is inexpensive palette it's a quite nice color actually i always surprise myself with yeah it is it is quite patchy Shall I try this olive green? 
this champagne toast. Oh. That is not as pigmented on a brush as it was on a finger. Let's try it with the finger. Yeah, you get definitely, it almost looks yellow. Okay, well that's the first for me. I've never had something like that on my eye. <laughs> I'm going to take the Martini Olive and I put that in this part of the crease. Mm, that doesn't seem very pigmented. It is quite patchy. Let's try the other shimmery one, Espresso Martini, which is this one. I will put it on a brush, but I don't think... It does not apply so well with the brush, unless you really, really scrub the brush in. Um, This is not something that I would normally wear. I'm just using a few colors to see, you know, how they perform. I think I'm gonna go underneath, just for fun, with Maraschino Cherry. Let's have a look. We're doing a rainbow eye. This is a really pretty color. I might actually put that here. This is just like playing with crayons. That looks quite good. I quite like it. I quite like that cherry color on the top of that green. like that let's use this um, this iridescent one in a corner the sugar ram it won't go with anything because it's quite pink but yeah that doesn't have you know it's not too bad what else can we use um, shall we use the body shot which is the peachy one uh, on just to blend it out this is a proper rainbow eye <laughs> Okay, so this is very inexpensive. Um, I don't actually know exactly how much it works, but W7 is very inexpensive. And if you want to experiment maybe with colors and you are not a eyeshadow expert, you might like it, but um, the quality is definitely not there. The colors are cute and different. Um, and yeah, I can work with it, but yeah, if I was going to buy a palette like this, it would be just for experimenting with the different colors. So, you know, like I'm quite safe with my eyeshadows and if I fancied to play and try different colors, I wouldn't want to spend lots of money just in case I didn't like it. Maybe I would buy it, but it definitely, it's not too bad. It's not totally awful, but you know, you can't compare it to something like Colourpop or Anastasia Beverly Hills or those sort of eyeshadows. Okay, let's do try the mascara. So I'm going to try the Inika Vegan Long Lash Mascara. Let's see the mascara. Okay, so that's the brush. 
it's like a tapered brush it's not plastic I don't think it's very densely packed so it should work okay oh I like the brush I've told you before to me it's very important when the brush when I can feel the brush really grabbing all my eyelashes and my eyelashes are not the best right now I told you they are going through that transition period when they've fallen out and the new ones grow out and I'm still testing that new X Lash Serum so but it's only been just over a week so I can't report on that yet but this mascara is very nice I know that I've had a vegan mascara before and it just wasn't good or was it mineral I can't remember but it wasn't good so I didn't have much hope but it definitely elongates your lashes it's quite buildable yeah it's a nice mascara I quite like this colorful eye <laughs> the only thing is I can't go out anywhere now with two different eyes I've got enormous gap here don't know if you can see just little lashes started to grow out so oops wasn't meant to do that yeah the mascara is good okay let's try now the w7 honolulu bronzer so as you can see it looks very similar to the hula bronzer but it is much darker than hula bronzer and i would say it's on the warmish side so i have a tiny bit of bronzer that i put on this morning when i've done my foundation but i think as a bronzer that might be too dark right now so maybe that could do more as a contour let's try it actually it's not bad because it's a bit warmish no it's it's not too bad goes on a bit patchy it's okay um, I don't have any new blush so I'm just quickly gonna put my hourglass mood exposure blush I haven't gone high enough with the green can you see how this eye looks more hooded let's rectify that it is very patchy it's not it's not a very blendable eyeshadow that's for sure but I quite like the look um, okay let's try then first from the Colourpop crush on you one of the highlighters they are beautiful let's this oh they feel so soft this is polka face it's champagne pink then you've got talking code oh my god they feel so this one is quite white you know you can always use these as your shimmery shimmery lid shade so if you've got a palette and you think mm, could, couldn't use that as a highlighter you can always you know pop it on your lid then we have class act this one looks quite dark oh that's beautiful oh I love that that's beautiful and then this gold one drop a pin this one oh my god they are so soft they are they almost feel like cream so they are definitely beautiful beautiful highlighters but you can easily use them as eyeshadows so which one shall we use I think I quite like this one which was the poker face It's 
it's nice it's not in your face but it doesn't feel I don't know how to explain it like smooth and it feels a bit like it sits on the top of your skin but it is very pretty but they do feel beautiful I it is nice but it doesn't seem to want to blend out I don't know if I maybe have a bit too much powder on my face with all these other things that I've been using but the color is gorgeous okay so let's try on the other cheek the Glocomotion from W7 and they actually say that you can use it as a um, highlighter and eyeshadow Yeah, it gives you like a more of a glow, not shimmer, but it's not as good as the Colourpop. And then I'm going to try the Inika one. That looks beautiful. It's sort of peachy. It's called Dewdrop uh, Mineral Illuminator. And this one looks very subtle. Where am I going to put that one? Um... Let me put it just up here, just to see. Oh, that goes on really nicely. It might be because it's mineral. I love mineral powders. I just think they go on so much nicer. Let's put it on my nose. I never put highlighter on my nose. I don't need highlight in my big sharp nose. Yeah, it's very, very pretty. None of them are really intense, you know, like the Jeffree Star, for example, highlighters. Um, they are just fine for me. But I would have to say I love the Colourpop and I really like this one. The W7, it's okay, but I suppose it's reflected in a price. Okay, let's try some lips. So, I have the Colourpop Slay All Day... Shyla X Colourpop. So I've got here red, purple, and I have this gloss. The gloss probably be the only thing that I can use from here. Uh, you know, I don't really wear a red lip, especially matte. Uh, what is this one called? But I'm gonna try it for you. This one's called Season 10. So it's like a dark red. Oh my god. Should have used a lip liner. I I don't really have like natural lip line on the sides of my lips. So it's applied really nicely, very soft, very creamy. It's dry straight away. It's so comfortable though. I've never ever tried that's what i don't like you know when you use really dark matte lips and you see your lip inside but wow my lips don't look like wrinkled with it i'm sure i've heard that the color pop um liquid lips are really good i'm going to quickly take it off so it doesn't stain my lips i can try the other one like myself in red lipstick <laughs> especially with two different eyes okay oh oh don't come off easily need something oily to get it off okay I'm stuck with it okay that's the mess but I'm just going to quickly show you this one, which is called Shade Day. <laughs> I look like I haven't applied my lipstick. This is a beautiful purpley whatever. I 
Okay, excuse the application. It is a beautiful color. But I don't know if I would ever be brave enough to wear that with maybe more plain eye. It's a gorgeous color. I suppose they are very Christmassy colors for like a night out. And then we have this gloss, which probably be something that I will wear the most. It's a beautiful, very, very shiny, sort of peachy color. So I'm gonna try to take this off. Do you think that should be my... Let's make a real mess and that will be my... Thumbnail. <laughs> oh my God, that was a bad idea. <laughs> I'm gonna go and fix myself. Okay, so I put some concealer, but can you see how my lips are still stained? So they definitely stain your lips, but they felt surprisingly comfortable, like not cracky and cracky. You know what I mean? That it feels like your lips are cracking. So yeah, maybe I would try it in different color. I quite like this one. Um, yeah, I will try them maybe with different looks and maybe I get used to it. Let's try this gloss because I know I will love that. So of course, you can use it on its own on the top of the lipstick, which I always do. My actually whole mouth is still pink. Mm, it smells nice, not very strong, very creamy tiny bit sticky and very sparkly okay my lovelies so these were the new things that I wanted to try with you I definitely love the Colourpop brown sugar brown sugar palette and the um, highlighter palette um, love the Inika mascara and the highlighter not too keen on the W7 cosmetics um, but you know like for maybe your young teenagers for your daughters granddaughters that may be just starting to experiment with makeup they would be perfectly okay okay my lovelies I hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous bye